The overall goal of this procedure is to create a transgenic zebrafish line that allows the observance of cellular electrical changes during embryogenesis, larval movement, and in tumorigenesis. This method could help answer key questions in the developmental biology, physiology, and cancer cell biology fields, such as what are the fundamental roles of cellular electrical signaling during embryogenesis and in tumor cells? The main advantage of this technique is that it allows us to track cellular electrical signaling in vivo and in real time. After preparing TOL2 transposase mRNA and injection solution, according to the text protocol, the afternoon before injection, set up four to six breeding tanks with at least two males and two females. To reduce the amount of fish waste and to induce a breeding response, avoid feeding the fish in the afternoon. The following morning, remove the prepared injection solution from the negative 80 degrees Celsius freezer and place it on ice. Pull the dividers in the fish breeding tanks and allow the fish to mate. In general, fish lay eggs within 20 to 30 minutes. While waiting, using a micropipette puller with the following parameters, pull needles from capillary glass. Use a laboratory wipe to break the end of the needle and create a beveled edge. A smaller diameter is preferred for decreasing embryo mortality. Once the fish have laid eggs, Collect them in a 10 cm diameter petri dish. Immediately under the dissection microscope, remove all abnormal embryos and fish waste. Then